What do you reckon is going to happen with too far back? Okay. They're going to magnify, they're going to get wider because again the object film distance increases. Okay, so when we have a look at too far back, again what do you start to notice here about the teeth? So we now know that we've done too far back, we've got the focal trough line, it's meant to be between the two and the three, but the patient now is going to be too far back. So that actually means that we're going to put them behind the focal trough. So we're actually going, so it should be between the two and the three, we're going to move them behind. So the red line will sit in front of the incisors. So that means that the distance between the film and the focal, the focal spot increases, so the object film distance increases. So what you notice everything magnifies, so the three hallmarks. Number one is blurry, wide, anterior teeth. So that's how it's the opposite. Okay, number two, the TMJs encroach on the edge of the film. What does that mean to you? Can you see them on the x-ray? You can't see the condoms on the x-ray or the TMJ joint, okay? It's actually gone off the edge of the film because it's too wide. Okay? Um, the third factor that you usually see is that the film is generally a lot lighter because when we increase the object film distance, um, you usually get a wider image as well. Because again, x-rays will have to travel further, further towards the sensor after penetrating the object. Okay, so lighter. The other thing you might notice is, can you see this white line here? You usually start to see secondary ray line. So the three major hallmarks to remember overall is secondary ray line, TMJs encroaching on the edge of the film, and wider incisors. You'll also sometimes notice a little bit of a lightness to the film as well.